What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bring It Easy, aka Bring It Easy, to live in American Studio! How are you guys doing? It's a Saturday, it's the weekend, it's the weekend. I just finished doing my house chores. If you're from Nigeria, you know that Saturday is usually a... Wait, you guys, is that thing bothering you guys? Let me move. So you know that Saturday is a, is a clean-up day, basically. It's a day when you want to clean up your apartment, your house, anything, you know, with the music, you know, and all that. So I just got done doing that. I'm about to go to the gym. I have a lot of stuff. To do today even though i've already got stuff done um so far um so let me show you guys so far i cleaned up my yard you know the mannequin studio looking fresh clean yeah that's a real that's a, that's a real treat to the studio forget about the laundry i'm about to go do laundry and take out the trash so let's not look at that anyways in this video i'm going to be showing you guys the best places to go grocery shopping because as right now i'm going to go to the gym first and then we're going to go grocery shopping so this is going to be like a vlog that has a point that I'm gonna get to. Um, but the best grocery stores in Boston. This is for people that want to move to Boston. You guys saw my last video about the um, getting a, um, an apartment for $2,000. And I got more people asking me to do more Boston videos. And you know, who's the best person to do Boston videos than the King himself? I've been in Boston for five years, but I feel like I've, I've explored everywhere in Boston that I could basically talk more about it. So um, if you're interested in this kind of content, please, Subscribe, like, share this video with your friends, and let's get busy. So I got my protein right here. Um, yo, my arms are looking big, man. Hench. I need that to work out for some reason, because it has caffeine in it. You don't get tired. Um, and no, no, no. This is not a fitness channel, guys. I'm just, I just enjoy working out. This is basically my life. So I'm gonna be vlogging it. So yeah. But how, how's, your, how's, how's your day going though? How's your guys' day going so far? This is a Saturday. How's your, how's your Saturday going? What do you guys typically do on Saturdays? For me, um, so my Saturdays are... Um, back from the gym well back to the car now time for the actual point of the video first thought first thing i need to get on my list um so today what i'm gonna get i'm gonna do a full shopping day i was supposed to go to bj's and get some bulk stuff but i um i can't find my bj's card so first things on the list i need to get some tropical food the best place for you to get tropical food in boston is from this place called tropical foods i know but um it's actually a colombian restaurant i believe colombian or dominic one of those but you guys know our family if you're african and you're trying to get or if you're african and you're trying to get some you know soul ingredients to make some food that you're familiar with that's the go-to spot obviously there are some other african um stores but um that's far it's too far away from me so i think it's worth it to mention that um tropical foods in the middle of the what i call it this is not it's not the hood but it's in the it's basically in the middle of like crackhead avenue in boston so there's a bunch of crackheads on the road so don't walk here i don't know if you want to walk just get just just be, just, just be ready for anything um i usually just drive here um and park in the parking lot even though in the parking lot you're gonna meet a bunch of like crack crackheads but hey man it's safer than just walking all the way from wherever you're walking for from to here so like i said the first thing that i had to get was fruit obviously this is the best place to get fruit i believe they ship their stuff directly from the islands i also decided to get my indomie from here i know it's a little bit expensive 99 cents per one pack but hey man we'll take anything we're away from home so that's what we get on a normal day also i like to get things like beans oh yeah go watch my cooking show by the way with my mom um this is where i bought most of my stuff 
I like to buy like the um the beans from here, um the seasoning as well, and the bread. They have that, you know, if you're Nigerian or if you're African, there's always um there's a, there's that different type of bread. You know those ones that you those ones you buy on the road, yeah, that's that's what they sell. Also, this is like a bad habit of mine that I've been trying to break. Um they also sell pick milk, the big one. So that one lasts a long time, um, which I would usually buy, but this time I've been but this year I've I've given myself a new year's resolution to stay away from pick milk. Guys, I just got out of the store. Like I told you guys, um, tropical food is more like imported food if you want to get stuff that isn't in regular stores, in American stores. For the next store, we're going to Aldi. This is actually a store I just found out about. And funny enough, it's like five minutes away from where I live. Um, yeah, that stop and shop right there. We're not going there. Uh, so now Aldi is like where I get the bulk of my stuff because um, it's cheaper. Now we're at Aldi right there. You guys can see it. Yeah, so we're at Aldi right now. And as usual, there's always it's always packed. The only one that didn't know about Aldi until like literally like two months ago. Because like the first day I came into this store, there was a bunch of people here. So hey man, I expect the, I always expect to be in a line or like a long wait um when I come here. So we're gonna go buy some stuff and that person is looking at me weird because i'm vlogging well i'm gonna go buy most of my stuff so yeah guys stay tuned i'm not gonna talk a lot i'm just gonna show you guys some clips of what it looks like inside and let's get it let's get it like i said here i like to get my fruit snacks they're way cheaper here than anywhere else even though i know it's like off-brand stuff but i mean they, they taste the same way so um that works for me um i also like to get shrimp from here like look other stores sell shrimp for at least 20 dollars 23 dollars mo mostly but in this place the shrimp is like five six dollars um does the same work um, i'm not i'm not too much of a cooker but i like to cook sometimes um when i cook i like to add all these things but it would be good not to blow a bag on it so all that just cost me a good old all that just cost me about $26. I'm gonna review when I get back home and I get upstairs. I'm gonna review like all my receipts and show and tell you guys all I spent, what I bought, and like kind of like a haul. This is something new actually I've never done before, but I think it's gonna be a good video. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. It's like a day vlog, but I'm also kind of giving purpose to, to the video. So uh, I'm about to head home finally. I'm tired as hell. Oh, actually, we're going to one more store. One more store to grab one very essential thing and then we're done. I promise we're done. Um, all right. Let's go. Guys, next we're at Wegmans. The next place, we're at Wegmans. Wegmans is literally two minutes from my house. Well, not even, uh, it's just a walk. So I always like to come here to get water. Um, I know I'm like going to different places to shop, but hey man, different places for the best prices, you know? I like to get my, um, I, I like to get at least three packets of water just so that um, I never have to go back again in maybe like two weeks or three weeks. All right, guys. So we just got back home. Um, I'm gonna basically review what I got from the grocery store. I um, hope you guys are enjoying this video, though. Anyway, this is the final part of the video. I'm just gonna show you guys, according to price, how um, how much I spent and then how much I spent for the whole total today. Uh, so first off, I got the water. My water um, was from Wegmans. Like I told you guys in, in, the, in the video, um, I like getting water from Wegmans just because they have that 35 pack, um, and I usually get like four at a time because I drink a lot of water, especially bottled water. So I, I like to have that. I like to have a lot of water available to me. What well, each one was was like $2.50. So I got three packs. That brings me at a total of $7.50 spent. Um, and then and moving on to the noodles and all that I got from Tropical Food. Trop from Tropical Food, the other store, I got um, noodles, plantains, um, avocados, which brought me to a total of, hold on, let me get the receipt. $30.33 you guys can see from from here I got um, from here I got like I said Indomie um, avocados got some clementine uh, clementine 
some time, those things. And I got some plantains, not a lot from here. Um, so that cost me $30. That's bringing me to a total of $30.33. Um, if you add it on to our last budget, $7.50. That's about 37 something or 38 now. Um, moving on to the next place that we went to, this is where I got most of my groceries, Aldi. Like I told you guys, Aldi is the truth. If you guys are not shopping at Aldi, well, I mean, unless you have the money to blow, then you can go ahead. But um, anyways, from Aldi, we got shredded wheat cereal, which is like healthy cereal. So we also got some shrimp. Um, I love shrimp, guys. If you, I, I, I used to be allergic to shrimp, fun fact, but now I, I kind of love it. So I got some shrimp as well. I got some fruit snacks. Fruit snacks are amazing, especially for nighttime. Um, I'm not trying to eat in the late night, but one, one time when I'm hungry, I believe that fruit snacks will kind of cure whatever hunger that I have. And then I got some bananas from there too. Um, it's a Sunday tomorrow and I'm Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian man. So um, I'm going to make some rice and stew. I'm going to have to have bananas. Yeah. If you think it's weird, sorry. Eat a sneaker or I don't know, hug a transformer or anything. But Tomorrow, that's what I'm going to be eating. Um, and then I also got some orange juice um, and whole milk. And all the things that I bought from Aldi all cost me $32.69. Um, bring my whole total to about $60. Let's call it $70 for shopping. Oh, well, let's, let's just call it $75 for my shopping day, um, which is pretty good, I believe. I feel like that's a good um, shopping list. These items will probably last me for what, two weeks? Um, two weeks, $60, $70. Um, if I do that again, that's a month of 140. That's a good budget. Comment down below some stores you guys shop at in your city. Um, if you're in Boston, comment down below if you shop in any of these stores. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the 1,500 and something of you guys. You know, I, I appreciate you guys a lot. You guys are here, right here, right here. You guys have a space right here. Before any girl, girlfriend, you guys are here. You guys were here first. You feel me? Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.